Hey y'all, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Welcome to Chinatown in Yokohama. This is a continuation of my previous vlog. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll leave a link somewhere above or leave a link in the description box below. So this is Kokien, the restaurant which we're going to today. Kokien is a vegan Taiwanese restaurant in Japan. It's located in Yokohama in Chinatown. It's not a 100% vegan restaurant because they cater to non-vegans as well. But they have quite a lot of vegan options on the menu which is why we're here today. Hello, so we're in Chinatown. I'm in a restaurant called Kokien. Yeah, we're gonna have dinner here and right now I'm just gonna check the menu and see what vegan options they have. Oh, these are like starters. Yeah. So I think I'll probably mm -hmm. go with the vegan fried dumplings, but again, this looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with this fried dumplings and. Just to receive, because I don't understand what they mean by vegan fried macaroni and all of this. Well, what do you want? I'll well, have it this way. I'll get one. Yeah. And then you can try it. Like, I'll please see if it's vegan. So yeah, it's like, you'll be the taste tester. Because <laughs> yeah. I'll probably get the vegan fried chicken and vegetables. Right. Because that looks quite good. Oh, rice soup. I don't want soup. But it's cold outside. Soup is good. Yeah, it'll be quite hard too. And I'm going to fall asleep on the train. <laughs> yes, you will. But I'll wake you up. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll go with the soup thingy mm -hmm. and the gyoza. Yeah, yeah the gyoza. Yeah. yeah, so I think I'm just gonna go with that. Yeah, okay. Do you mind if I have all of them? Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm. Okay, I know what I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna get the rice wrappers mm. in lotus leaf. Mm. And I think I'll get. Oh, they have like mango pudding and almond jelly. <laughs> For dessert. For dessert. <laughs> Fried sesame balls. Mm. I think there's a vegan version of that actually. Is there? Yeah. Fried sesame All balls. Right. Vegan. And they also have a bun with bean paste, like red bean paste. Oh, in inside. Yeah. You know, I think my eyes are too big for my stomach. <laughs> like, I think I'm gonna order <laughs> what does that food. mean? Because <laughs> you, you know, you think like it's gonna be like you're really hungry, and then when you actually get it, you feel quite sick. Yeah, because I feel like I'm really hungry. Yeah, same. Again. And I feel like when I actually get it, I'm going to be okay. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Yeah. You know, I might get the fried chicken with spicy taste. With spicy taste? With spicy taste. <laughs> well, I, I get spring rolls, you get dumplings, and we share. Yeah. Let's do that then. Yeah. Well, so we'll get these two. Yeah. And you're getting the I'm getting soup. The, yeah, soup. Thing, and I'm getting the fried chicken spicy taste. Yeah. I think I might get a small rice as well. Do you have that? So I'm having the vegan Taiwan rice soup noodles. I know that's a mouthful. And I'm having the vegan fried dumplings. This is what our dinner at Kokien looks like. My friend had vegan fried chicken and vegetables with a side of rice. While I had the vegan Taiwan style rice soup noodles i know that's a mouthful we also got the fr vegan fried dumplings and vegan spring rolls to share i was super excited for dinner on this day and now it's time to dig in That spring roll was so good, but I accidentally bumped my tongue because I was impatient and because it was very hot. They bled you like there's like there's so many peppers in this. Like black. Yeah, like peppercorns. Is it hot? It's not actually that spicy. Mm. But maybe because I'm not eating the chili peppers. Eat it. And tell me. <laughs> I will not do that. 
that. I'm not gonna burn my mouth off. <laughs> That dumpling was so tasty as well. I can't fault it. It was so good. This is our reward. This is it's nice, but it's a bit oily. Mm. And so I'd like something a little bit like palate cleansing. Yeah. My main meal, which was the rice noodle soup, was simply amazing. It was perfect. It had lots of vegetables in it, such as carrots, bean sprouts, and green veggies. And the broth tasted so good. It was perfect for the weather as it was cold outside on that night. I'm still practicing my chopstick skills, so please bear with me. So this is what I think about Kokien and the food which I ordered. The noodle soup was very good but it was a bit too oily for me. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10 because generally I'm not a fan of oily food. I had to eat it all because I don't like to waste food. The dumpling and the spring rolls were a 10 over 10. They were fantastic. For customer service, I'll give them a 10 out of 10 because the food came on time and I don't see any faults with the customer service and lastly the price was very decent and they had lots of vegan options which I think is a good thing. Will I be going back to Kokien? Definitely I'll be going back to Kokien and I would like to try their other vegan options. So all I can say is whenever you're in Yokohama and want to try out a different type of vegan meal, definitely head out to Kokien. After our dinner, we walked around the streets of Chinatown for a bit. It was nice and exciting to see the busy night life. We saw quite a lot of interesting things on the streets of Chinatown. We saw fortune tellers, soup dumpling stands, palm readers, talisman shops and other interesting things. So these are strawberries that have been like kind of frozen and oh. they're like covered in like hard candy. Alright. Almost. Yeah, like sugar, like caramel. Like All right. So I've come to the end of this video, if you've enjoyed watching please give this video a like, please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below, I'd love to see your comments. 
take care and i'll see you in my next one bye